her truck broke down and y'all gave her a new Volvo, a 2020. What's, what, 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 what the fuck, bro? What's going on, man? Ryan Little. <laughs> All right, so I, I, I take the Freightliner. The first night, day out with that Freightliner. <laughs> what the, what? Hello, hello, breakdown. Yes, this is uh, truck number 1614. Uh, yeah, um, what's, what's, the, the truck broke down, man. It's it's it, it, it's up. Uh, what did you did you uh put it in uh region region? No, it's already in D rate. This is a fucking Freightliner. If it's already in D rate, it's not going to region. Okay, okay, we found the Freightliner dealership, which is about forty miles away from you. Will you be able to make it? I I hope so. All right, so I get back on the road. <laughs> Freightliner. Get to the Freightliner dealership. That night. That night at the Freightliner dealership. Check in. Get the computer on. Hey, my G. Uh, Freightliner dealership. Uh, lockout. How many miles on this truck? Lockout. Uh, it says here about 319 dealership try one point ninety nine million miles lockout are you fucking kidding me dealership no not kidding you look, look at the computer close to two million miles on this shit like yo really like oh my god all right can, can you pinpoint the problem no we can't pinpoint the problem we got to take it into the shop all right overnight in the shop eight o'clock in the or seven six o'clock in the morning knock on the door knock on the door yo we got to get to the shop we got to put it in the shop all day Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Y'all, you guys look at it yet? No, we we haven't had uh we haven't had confirmation from your company yet. You guys looked at it yet? No, we haven't had confirmation from your company yet. Get on the phone. Yo, bro, what's going on, man? Why y'all not giving confirmation to the comp to this company to fix the truck? But they they working on it. Yada yada yada. Confirmation yet? No, they haven't gave us confirmation yet. Three 30 in the evening to 4 o'clock in the evening. Now they got confirmation to work on it. How long would it be, man? Oh, we should be done with it in about a couple of hours. All right, 6 o'clock. Okay. In the midst of the conversation of the, it being in the shop, I called my dispatcher. And I say, hey, bro. Says, uh, we got confirmation. They're going to uh, be done with it at about 6 o'clock. And, uh, you know, the, the load that I'm up under, you know, we might as well scratch me getting it to, you know, the disc, I mean, to the place. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we understand that it's not going to happen. All right, so here's some suggestions. Uh, we'll keep the load. You'll get a, re a reschedule and you would reschedule it for monday i go home and i will come back to indianapolis indiana to drop the load monday morning sweet right i'm only about three hours away from the house uh okay let me take that up to the powers that be ding 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 come back powers that be uh powers that be says that they don't want you to they don't want you to do that. Okay, well what what they want you, what they want me to do? Well, they will pay you extra if you was to stay in Indiana 
until Monday for the drop. No, bro. That that's a no can do. That's a negativo. That's a that's a negativity. That's that's out. That's not going to happen. I got to get home because I got I got an appointment for Monday. I got something to do on Monday, bro. Uh, okay, okay. Uh Okay, let let me call you back. I got to talk to the powers that be. Do 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 do. do. Hello? Uh okay. So here's here's the thing. This is what the powers that be wants you to do. Powers that be, come on now. Okay, what's up? What what's 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 the option here? They want you to drive all the way back to Illinois. Drop the trailer. Pick up a load that'll take me all the way back to Cleveland. Really, nigga? What's the number? And guess what the kicker is? The kicker is they needed to be delivered at 8 o'clock the next morning. Now, mind you, this is a Friday. This is a Friday. I said, bro, I said, that don't make no sense. That, that don't make no sense to me. I'm three hours away from Ohio, from the house, bro. We can get this rescheduled Monday after what I need to do. We can reschedule for Monday. I will drop it. I will get on load Monday and then make my way back to Illinois for a new load. That don't make no sense. Well, that's what they want you to do. Uh, I, I have no control over that. Yes, you do. Yes, you do, because you know good as well that don't that don't that don't make no kind of sense, bro. But anyway, I said, all right, you know what? OK, all right. So scratch all of that. Let's let's talk about how I'm going to get paid today. Um. OK. So, OK. How am I going to get paid today? Um. Well, you're going to get paid when you start the when you start the row. What, what, what are you talking about, bro? Well, you're going to get paid today when when you start the row. No, 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 no. I've been in breakdown mode since last night. Well, what, what time you got there last night? I got there at about 9 o'clock or something like that. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, whatever. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I got there late last night, bro. I've been here all day and all night. Uh, well, uh, the powers that be says that we're not paying you for breakdown. You're not what? We, they say that you're not, they're not paying you for breakdown because you're about to roll tonight. You you about to get the you you about to roll the miles. That don't wait. That that don't make no sense to me, bro. Help me understand this like I'm a five year old. I All right, explain this to me like I'm a two year old, okay? Because there's an element to this thing. I just cannot get through my thick head. I've been here since last night and not leaving until six o'clock in the evening and then you want me to roll back up to illinois drop the trailer at the yard pick up another trailer at at timbuk two yard and drive overnight so i can make an appointment at at eight o'clock in the morning Help me understand that. Help me to understand that if this make any sense. 
I've been up all day. That's number one. And you guys inspect me to drive through the night to get to the to get to Ohio in the morning. And then on top of that, I'm not going to get paid for the breakdown today. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Oh, no, man. That's mm 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 man. Uh-uh, babe. Uh-uh, man. Uh-uh. <laughs> uh-uh, bro. That's not going to happen, man. That's, oh, that's, that's, wow. I says, okay. Because you want to know what changed my tune? Things was set in motion that helped me change my tune. And I came back at him with a better attitude. And he was like, yo, lockout. You okay? <laughs> I'm fine now, bro. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm good, G. I'm good. So let me get this straight. So I can make sure that I, that I made a good decision, which I did. Which I did, by the way. Excellent decision. Awesome decision. The best fucking decision that I can ever make in my trucking career. I says, uh, what's up? I, I said, let me get this straight. You want me to go back to Illinois, drop the trailer, pick up deadhead about 100 miles down the way to pick up another trailer. Check. Grab that trailer, head back, to, uh, head to Ohio. Check. Drop that, uh, drop that trailer for 8 o'clock in the morning. On a Saturday. Check. Okay. No problem. Okay, you don't have a problem with that? Like, like oh, you don't have a problem with that? No. Mm -mm. Saturday morning comes, y'all. Saturday morning. So, again, if you guys haven't been following me on Instagram, it's all laid out on Instagram, by the way. So, Saturday morning rolls around. Now, mind you, when I got back to Illinois that that Friday night, I wasn't I wasn't driving. I was I was fatigued. I was already tired. So I was going to wait until the morning anyway. I drive up the way, drop the trailer, go grit, go grab the other trailer, pick up that trailer. And on my way to Illinois, I mean, on my way to Ohio. I haven't even made it out of the great state of Illinois. I get to the Indiana border. Gary, good old Indiana. Guess what happened? I was on my way to meet the boy Loco, give him his little 90. And you won't believe what the fuck happened next. That's right. That's right. Freightliner broke down again. The entire console went out. I was so fuck, fucking heated. I was like, look, I'm going to drive this motherfucker till the wheels fall off until I get home. Because I had to get home. But then I said to myself, man, if I get stopped by DOT, I know I'm going to get a ticket. And it's going to be my fault. Because I didn't bring it back. I didn't acknowledge the problem that I that I had with this truck. And, yeah, you know, all that stuff. So I get to the truck stop. I turn around at the truck stop. I call up breakdown and I say, yo, man, this. I said, this freight liner's fucked up again, bro. Okay, bring it back to the shop. All right, cool. Bring it back. Drop the trailer. Bring it back over to the shop. Bam, bam, boom. I'm at the shop. All right, bro. Um, you got you got a temporary truck because I gotta get home. Uh well, Andy's not here on the weekend, so we won't be able to assign, you know, give you a temporary truck. But what we can do is give you, uh, give you a hotel. When y'all gonna be finished with this truck? Oh, well, this truck won't be able to be looked at until Monday. I gotta be home Monday, bro. What the? What's what's the hold up, man? What's up? What's what's up? Uh, I don't know what to do. Okay, breakdown on the phone, yo. I need to be home Monday. How am I going to get home Monday? 
I need to be home Monday. Can, can you guys get me a, I don't know, can you guys get me a, a rental car? A rental car. Uh, you have to call your dispatcher for the rental car. Okay, well, my dispatcher is off this the weekend. He don't work the weekend. Uh, do you by chance have his regular uh regular phone? Bro, it's across the fucking seas, man. That's an international number. I don't have no international phone. Uh, do you have WhatsApp? What the fuck is WhatsApp? No, I don't have a WhatsApp. What do I do? What what is that? An app, dude? What what I, uh, what? I gotta download that or something like that? Okay, call call dispatch and see you know if they can get a hold of them so you, they can approve the rental car. Now, see, this is where f u money comes into play. You should always have some f u money. That's when that. When remember the last commentary I did when the young lady came back and say, Hey, why would she need a credit card and about five hundred dollars? Warner will be able to get her home if she needs to go home. Nah, you, you should have your own money and your own credit card. Because I'm about to tell you why. On the phone all day with dispatch going back and forth about if I could get a car so I could get home so I could take care of my business on Monday. They called me back. Now, mind you, in the midst of them trying to do that, brother man wasn't waiting around. Brother man was on the phone with this rental car company that rental car company that rental car company that rental car company and i tell you guys i was on the phone all fucking day and not one motherfucking car one way to ohio was coming out of illinois until i found the rental car up at the airport everybody else was not everybody enterprise hurts budget all them all them companies did not have one way one one way rentals. I got on the phone last resort, got on the phone. It's like, hey man, look, I'm I'm really trying to get up out of Illinois. I really need to get home. And you guys is my last resort. God told me to give you guys a call. God said he had my back. I'm 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 doing what guys say right now. Help me out. It was like, yeah, we got you, bro. You got to come up to the airport and get the car. I said, uh, I I said, my man, paid a fifty dollar Uber to get up to the airport, got the car, rolled back over to the truck, cleaned it out. They finally called me back just to tell me, oh, well, the powers that be said that we we couldn't get a rental car for you because it's it's about 450 miles to Ohio. And we and we just couldn't cover that. You you wasn't going to pay me. I didn't need to get paid. I just needed to get home. I just needed a way. But you know what, though? I got it. I got I, I got the car. Oh, you got the car? Yeah, I got the car, bro. I'm in the car right now. In my guilty 718 voice, where do you want the keys? Where do you want the keys? What do you what do you mean where do we want the keys? Where's the truck? The truck is at the shop. It's in the yard. Where do you want the keys? Do you want me to leave it with the you leave it, want me to leave it with the desk clerk at the hotel or you want me to leave it inside of the truck or is there a drop box that you want me to put it in? Where where do you want me to leave the keys at, bro? Where do you want me to leave the keys? That's all I need to know. Tell me where to leave the keys. It called me back. Leave the keys in the truck. All right, cool. Boom. Gone. Gone. 
Monday morning comes around. I take care of my business. Happy, happy, joy, joy. I'm done. That same day, I get a text. I get an email from the dispatcher. Hey, sorry. I heard about what happened. Uh, I apologize. Yada, yada, yada. Um, we we going to make it right. Yada, yada, yada. I said, no. The, yeah, okay. Um, Andy calls me. Uh, we we fixed the Freightliner. Freightliner's Fritz. Freightliner. I said Freightliner got close to two hundred thousand miles on there. I mean two hundred. I mean two two million miles on there. Ain't no. I don't have no two million mile truck in my fleet. Well, it, 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 congratulations, bro, on being the first of uh, having a two million mile truck in your fleet. Oh. Congratulations, you played yourself. I'm just saying. Congratulations. Oh. Congratulations. You played yourself. So I get an email back from the dispatcher. So um, while we're working on getting you a new truck, um, we'll just work on getting you a new truck. No, no, bro. You know what? I'm going to take a week off, man. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Uh. You wouldn't be taking a week off to look for another job, would you? Maybe. I don't know. I, I, I really need to I really need to put my options together because to be totally honest with you, me and you haven't been on page one since you became my fleet manager, and I'm just being honest. I'm just throwing it out there. I'm, I'm being honest, man. I mean, if I'm going to be 100 with you, I'm, I'm letting you know now that you, you, number one, you, 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 you pretty much disrespect me when I was, you know, I didn't get paid. I didn't, I didn't get paid my, my breakdown pay. I, piece of shit trucks, um, loan, uh, being held up at these at these shippers and not getting paid for it um yeah man you not you know not keeping me rolling like you supposed to i mean you get me a load and then i gotta wait for you to come in the next day to look for a load i get late pickups late pickups early mornings you know it it it, it, it just wasn't it's not working it's it's not working the pros or the cons outweigh the pros here. And I, I just can't take it no more, man. So with that said, I'm, I'm going to take some time off. I am. I'm, I'm good. I'm going to take some time off, man. And with that, rolls into what to do and not to do when leaving a trucking company. Now, definitely what you don't want to do, you don't want to abandon the truck. Abandon the truck, suicide. Boom. That's on your DAC report. They seize that. Done. 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 Mm -mm. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't abandon the truck. Don't get mad and be like, yo, I'm done with this company and all like that. And I want to put the truck down. I'm going to abandon the truck. No, bro. Don't do that. Take the truck back. But here's what you do. If you're planning on leaving the company and you one of them drivers that got like a gang of shit in your truck and you really need to probably go home and unpack. Have the company route you to your house. Say, hey, I need to get home on the weekend or whatever, whatever, or I need to go home on this day. While you at home, clean out the truck. Clean the equipment real good. Clean out the truck. Make sure you take pictures in and outside of the truck because they're going to they, they, they're gonna probably come back with some bullshit. Oh well we're gonna we're gonna tax you a hundred dollars for, you know, 
uh, cleaning out the truck or whatever, whatever. So make sure you clean the truck inside and out. All right. Probably go to a blue beacon on the way back and just tell them, hey, I need, uh, you know, I need a, a, a T check for blue beacon so I can get the truck wash. And then when you bring the truck back, you you drop it at the yard. You know, you drop it at the yard. You might be up under a load or something like that, but you call them up and let them know and say, hey, uh, I'm about to drop your truck off at the yard. Uh, aren't you up under a load? Yeah, but I think I'm going to go ahead and drop the load, secure the load, and put it in your secure drop lot or terminal and then I'm going to go ahead and bounce. That's how you do that. All right? That's how you do that. Don't 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 abandon the truck. Don't abandon the truck. All right, so number 1, they they you know Give a formal notice of resignation, right? Give a formal notice of resignation. Let them know, hey, um, I'm about to resign for whatever reason. Uh, make sure that there's no lack of communication between you and the employer giving a formal notice of resignation. Preferably, preferably in writing, but if not, you know, call them up, tell them over the phone or whatever. That lets the company knows of your intentions, all right? But this is trucking, so this is not always the case. Ask for a reply so you can prove that other companies that you intend to go to, that you gave them a formal notice. In my case, I was off for three weeks. So... I guess within that three week period, I wasn't sitting at home. I was actively looking until somebody gave me what I was looking for. They say give two weeks notice, right? The expected notice for leaving will vary between the companies that you work for. But the standard issue in the industry is the same as other companies you give them a two weeks notice so they can have time to get somebody to either be trained in that position that you're leaving. Ryan Little. <laughs>